to your offlane. Just able to do it that, but that much more than PSG LGDs themselves. The focus now to be around the mid lane. Kick. Amori dropping the down coil. the coil. There's the combo. The kick into place. Nothing to say. Still able to turn. Get the Double side on. These heals may just be enough to keep him alive, and they are. They can't quite finish up the DP. Because Siori try and get out of there. Oh! He's straight to the arrow. Do they get him out? Take him down. They're going to be able to fight PYW as That's well. That's a double. Jing Hu with the Mirana movements. Still hanging around, ready for, to, to go for maybe a second round here, Wai and Jing Hu. Let's see what they can find here. We're going to have the attempt to roll in. Nothing. He's just diving straight in. He's ready to get the siphons going. A TP's going to be coming over from Poyo Yo. He wants to get involved in the tower defense. It's PSG LGD. They're going to get chased down. Good sleep holds back Poyo Yo during his battle trance. So a bit of the effectiveness of Coil ready in two. Put to, yeah, to their a waste. should die. Surely they've got him with the four of them trying to burst him down. They will manage to finally take him out. At the side, though, you have the Sand King coming over. Faith Beyond ready to get involved. Dream Call down, though. Onto the two. They'll go for the stop. He's able to get it off in time. Off. There's the ball. The Epi. arena's down. Old Eleven, he's got the control. He contains Faith Beyond. The God's Rebuke, not quite enough to kill him, though. As Faith Beyond is still alive. Old Eleven and DY will manage to finish him off. Jinku, who is he going to be able to get the further cleanup? He's trying for Old Eleven. He will. He's going to he be able clean to take a third. Up. He might just be able to get DY. The arrow is out. He chases him down, leaps in. He's ready to get a fourth. And it's going to be. Ooh, is it for the earned damage. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, earned damage. Oh, Ultra kill is. for Jin Q. Seven oh, right. and a half minutes <laughs> in. Like this Six, is. Zero, one. Fourth and down it. They're uh, looking to match a VG game. They're bringing further presence in on this. They're going to try and go on to nothing to say. Nothing to say. Pop the exorcism. But immediately they just roll in and they slam him down. The exorcism put to waste as VG Gaming turn their attention over towards Y. Take down a second and they'll put an instant stop to that aggressive move there from PSG LGD. A bit. Too aggressive, I would say. Like, they felt comfortable because they had Sentry and Observer Ward behind the tower, but the two TPs were in the trees, so they did Fabian. not see the Fabian with the ulti. He's going to be able to come in with the epicenter. DY trying to roll away, but Xinqiu's in position to block it off. The Dream Coils up, slams it down onto the Mirana. Xinqiu will be caught as he goes down. See so if they can get more out of this. Poyo Yo turning his attention over towards Armes. He's looked to, to join into the fight here, but the re relocate takes him back out of harm's way as he'll escape. It's going to look for the initiation here. They're hiding in the trees. The arena's down arena. instantly with the silence straight away. VG Gaming react. They're also able to get the eclipse out as they burst through Fabian. Turn over towards Y. VG Gaming fully prepared for that. There's nothing to say. He's still trying to fight into this. Armage come in, but he's come straight into the clutches of the troll. As he's going to get Dream Coil taken out. They've lost three here, PSG LGD. As despite losing Fabian and Y. They, they made a, a bit of a, a, an awkward decision there, nothing to say in Arme. They still wanted to try and fight despite being down two heroes. Yeah, double Siphon. They wanted to make something happen out of that. That Prophet's super tanky with the Siphon, with the Hood. Now we see here on the replay just uh, that war giving the chance for them to set up as, as accurately as they did. As soon as Faith Beyond was close enough, DY just slamming down the silence into the follow up arena, leaving no chance for Faith Beyond to get any sort of stun or combo off. See PSG LGD on the hunt here for Ori. He's oh, in he the trees. Him. Well, they've got him. They get the vision and they take down the puck. I'm glad that he decided to go for the Maelstrom this game. Allows you to fight with the team straight into BKB. Just needs to be a bit more careful with that ulti usage. Just as you'd hope to see here. Oh, that. Eclipse. What? I mean, why? They're going to have DY coming in with a further control. Poyo is trying to step forward, but the arrow is out. They turn their efforts straight over towards the Earth Spirit to punish DY's attempt to get in. Faith Beyond comes across with a bow strike up to the high ground, catches PYW. Backup's coming in from Ori. Can Ori help out? No, he's got to get out as PYW will be left to die. Fuck. Yeah, he's just going to kill him. Witchblade. Coil? Oh. I don't think he's going to use the coil, oh. but let's see. <laughs> I mean, why is making it work for it? But uh, he will get it, jumps in, closes the gap with the loser orb. Now has the coil up to control Arme. Arme has been slammed down straight into the wall of the arena. Poyo Yo moves in with the battle trance. Arme's gone, and now he's ready to go over towards Y. Y brought back to try and help out. He's able to get the sleep stomp off onto the two of them. Yeah, Troll's uh, very active. He's involved in like 50% of the kills, which is uh, kind of not uh, common for for Troll. Arrow will oh. hit. Perfectly DY on the will mark. take the fall. Shinku getting these angles. Double silence. Oh, this smoke. BG Gaming, they strike from the high ground. Nothing to say. He's three heroes behind him. DY's going to roll four straight away. They're going to look to try and clear out who's inside of this, this area. Trees, Poyo, he's moving in immediately with the BKBs. Takes down Faith Bian, and now he's ready to try and charge towards his next target. Shinku 
is already out to the side. That is the arena down as well as the BKB and Poyo Yo. Maybe PSG actually will seize this opportunity to get back in there. A nice Jinku, control. He gets jumped though by Ori immediately. Murad has gone down. They've lost two. They've got to be cautious now. The rest of PSG LGD. Arme trying to do his best to keep nothing That's a to say alive. The they take down DY. The Siphon's out as well. Poyo Yo is able to get the battle chance off. He's running them down. He's able to close over towards Y. Come here. I want a lifesteal. DY comes in with the kick, takes him out. They're down to the last two. Nothing to say in Arme. Can, that, can they do this alone as the two of them? Yes, they can with the Aghanim Scepter. They need to fall back on Vici Gaming. Like, they pretty much used everything. Ready to go once more. Faith Biam. Looking for that, that jump. Who's he going to find? DY. He'll be an easy one. Take yeah, DY. This is the hero that you do not want to find. Or the old Scepter. He tries to TP out, but they, of course, continue to sweep over. And they'll manage to find the two of them. I guess he just wants to be able to jump on the IO possibly and uh, blow him up. But Fate the problem is there is Aegis right now. They're going to jump straight away on it. Poyo Yo is able to put the BKP. He's going to turn his attention straight over towards Nothing oh, look to at that Say. Healing. But the All Scepter is going to give an opportunity for Nothing to Say to keep himself alive. Dreamcore's down onto the three of them, but the stomp's out on it. Poyo Yo, the troll, he's going to go down. He wasn't able to do nearly enough in the fight before they're able to turn. The BKP comes to an end and he's left vulnerable. And he was also kind of alone there. Over to the side, PSG LGD, they may just be able to find themselves another with this. They don't get the arrow follow-up. If they can still find the kill, they, they should be able to with a further burrow strike coming out from Fapion. You have this attempt on the side to, to come in from PYW. He's thinking about dropping the Eclipse, he's going to get it going out. Will be enough damage to take down Xing Qiu, but it's not going to be enough to get any of the rest of them as PSG LGD can fight on, look towards DY. DY is able to roll out in time. Nothing to say, will get burst by Ori. Can Ori get more out of this? He's chasing in DY with a slow over towards Arme. Faith Beyond Burrow strikes himself up onto the cliff. DY's quick to follow. Rolls up to the high ground. Takes him out with the help of Ori. Roll. Can they chase? He's out of stones, so... They'll try it for the relocate gang concert. PYW, and they'll get it. Just there. Faith Beyond puts a stop to the TP. So we can find him on the outskirts of the vision. DY, oh, he actually comes back in. He wants the bounty rune. I mean, he does get it. He does get it, but it, it, it costs him his life. Why sitting in that? That's actually so smart if you want to bait the enemy team. Erica trying to go in. DY is able to get the roll in, but Faith Beyond immediately just turns things with the power strike. DY, he's going to die as quickly as he entered the fight. And nothing to say, he popped the ulti. I mean, they could go for the Roche for that action. 550 system. movement speed, dead profit, instant buyback from the Earth Spirit. See if VG Gamer can get some sort of insane steal. If PSG OGD continue to try and bring down Roche with the Ghost. They're doing so. It's already down to half HP. Faith Beyond's coming in with the Sandstorm to try and stop Blink potential from VG Gaming to, to maybe get in and disrupt this. Older Lemon's going to go for it. Pop the BKB. Poyo Yo's in as well. Roche is going down. The die. They'll get the kill, but Poyo Yo is able to snatch the Aegis. Turns over towards Arme, but Arme with the BKB is out of the arena. Poyo Yo now popping the ult, but the Yules will keep nothing to say. Save for the way out of the, the axes of the troll. The disarm means the Poyo Yo is rendered useless here for the first life. Heads up going down. On level getting focused by the backlines of PSG LGD. There's the second round. Is it going to go any better for Poyo Yo? He's over towards Arme. A buyback comes out from PYW. Or he's in with a four man silence. Jumps back into the front of it all. DY they need to burst Io. Arme's getting low. Can they quite finish him? He's out to the side. Reload. Arme, he he's gets still out. Alive. He's out of there. Arme will live as they turn. They take DY down. Poyo Yo looks towards the ET, but the Yule's up into the air. Why keeps himself alive? As that's Poyo Yo out of action. Finally, Fabian Epicenter comes out. Epicenter good to go as it's four dead on VG Gaming. Then it's just about to be made into five as well as Faith Beyond catches 11 on his attempted TP out. As PSG right, that's got to be a full team wipe, actually. Team wipe. Six heroes. Pipe, Guardian Greaves, Yules, extremely farmed. Nice, a tanky boy. Ah, Jinkyu. Ah, not tanky enough, though. Old 11 able to jump and get the angle. Underlord dead. I mean, Ori, he's got the coil down. They're bringing Poyo Yo over. Can they really go on these heroes? There's these two tanky brutes here. Both um, Arme like, and... Come at me. <laughs> he's, he's pretending to be AFK. I can blow up uh, Mirana, get that ET so he can't get the stomps off. Can't kill the Sanking immediately because of the Eon Disc. Oh, look at that damage. 11. He's just done. And BKB won't save him this time. As now Faith Beyond is going to be able to set up onto PYW as well. Gets the jump off onto the Luna. They also lost the gem. 
Here we go. Time for the high ground push. Still a tier two up on the top lane, but with two heroes down. I could look to try and push on for tier fours. Poyoyo's trying to do his best to cut that mid wave, and it's going to be enough for the backdoor protection to kick back in. Dreamcore down onto the three of them. There's a buyback from old 11. They're heading over, but DY, he's going to go down. Two heroes out without buyback. Oh. They realized. Uh oh. That's not the move that's going to get them back into this game. Just trying to hold the high ground. I mean, they're going to go in. Poyoyo's heading over. He's looking for a target, but he's been sent up into the air by the Yules. They've lost the white post the BKB, but the half up was already down on him. So to start for a good duration of it, the arena comes out, but they can't lock down nothing to say. He's able to get the siphons off. Old 11's gone, so is Poyoyo. GG well played, it will be called. As PSG LGD will take this game one. Yeah, great showing from PSG LGD. I think that the second mid fight when Jin Q got the ultra kill. If he feels that his job is going to be closing the gap on Tuame, setting up for the rest of the team to take him down. We're going to see a first attempt here. Straight up with the stun. And that should have the damage. That'll do it. First blood. The route and try and fight through it. Top lane, Jin Q. I might just have him in with a blade here. Dead. This is the combo. They just need to isolate one hero. Uh, they should know something is up. Ancient Apparition showing on the mid lane. Oh. Buck, miss. Buck might get two kills on the carriers. One of them with that information, knowing that old Levin's alone. Nothing to say, swings over and he's able to set up for the kill. Yeah, he's gonna get two carriers. Nicely done by Ori. First seven minutes. That sort of a superior lane setup up top. The move from Ori and PYW. Heading over towards setting up onto Y. Not a kill potential really anywhere for PYW as he has some... Nothing to say he's ready to go for another round down there. The scan does hit, so Vici know that he's heading over. But he's able to sweep around, he's able to get the perfect angle to, to land the two-man arena. Do they have full-up damage, though? PYW gets the ink spot off in time, puts off the PSG OGD for committing on toward 11. Additional TP's coming in as DY's ready to join the fight and try and turn things around as they move on to Y, take down the Abaddon, another God's Rebuke from nothing to say, pushes back the three of them. So they can start uh, pushing the tower. A lot of damage coming up from that. Inner beat level two. Leopard wants to try and catch Shinkyu after the Shadow Round comes to an end, but two TP's coming in. Backup's on the way, nothing to say. He's got the catch. Arena's down on to World 11. And he did go hunting pretty deep for, for that opportunity to maybe find Shinkyu. Will be punished the same time up top. Vichy Gaming looking to make a play themselves onto the offlaner up here. The OGD is Faith Beyond in turn, does fall. Okay. Okay. I mean, do you, do you like this or would you, would you prefer to see him take the Maelstrom? Route? Maelstrom, uh, I feel in most situations, a uh, much better one. Alfie, just an easy kill. Because you come online a bit faster, and we're like, with Battlefield, you kind of always want to keep farming instead of like fighting. Oh, did you actually connect? I did just in time. Shinkyu not able to get his way out of this you know, multiple times. The Shadow Round CP is not. They know something is up, nothing to say, nice positioning. Yeah, that's the high ground, drops the arena. Not enough burst on it though, though to take down Ori, and now Ori's ready to try and turn things. The dream core's down, setting up for him to close the gap on the Inkswell. Ice plants laid down by DY as they take out nothing to say. Arme comes in with a relocate, will get Ori in return. So a good read there from Army, seizing the opportunity to get in, find that trade, make sure that nothing to say's life wasn't lost for nothing. Would you consider, is this a hero that's going to farm quicker than an Io? Or do you think it's pretty close? Yeah, I, I think, think Juggernaut farms a bit faster and uh, provides a bit more in the team fights. See Arena. There's nothing to say. He's able to catch Ori. He's also able to take down Team Boy. Shinq. Come on, PYW. He's trying to dodge that last bit of magic it. damage. <laughs> and he's going to be able to do so. PYW not quite able to push Shinq over the threshold to be popped by the Ice Blast. They can find that roar before the spin. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. So they can get it. Poyo Yo. He's gonna farm up. At least attempt to grab some of the his necro books. Meanwhile, Jin Q and nothing to say managed to kill Ori's buck. That's why. Well time and for ready. They'll try and chase him and finish him off afterwards. Maybe Poyo Yo closing in. And ooh, is, yeah, he's gonna get it. They can put an end to the calm. There's the jump. They're going to be able to get themselves in on the back line. They're fighting Q. 
Oh, nice dodge with the face shift. And it's going to be put to the stop indeed, but the quick moves of Ori, he's fine wide. He's committing him with a borrowed time, but he's going to definitely go down as soon as that comes to an end. The move from Vici Gaming to end the silence of the farming phase. And the, your hero's dying. That's the next level strap. They will find PYW. Won't be any efforts to help him out. There isn't. They'll let him go. Getting the raw stats, uh, being more tanky on the Juggernaut. And once again, Scotty deals nicely with the IO. Smoke and play from both sides, but bottom lane is sort of left. That's coming out on top of it. Takes down Faith Miana on his own with the power of his illusions. I have nothing to say. Try and come across and punish him, but he's pretty tanky on the CK. Poyo is having hit him with the blade fury. In the car, terrorized. The ice blast comes crashing out straight away onto the IO. Do they have enough follow down? Poyo committing with the Omni Slash, bringing nothing to say low, but the relocate will take the two of them out of there. Do they have any stun? No, they can just DP out, relocate out. Nothing to stop it. Buck was there, but uh, not close enough to use the ulti. That's got the Dream Coil. That can attempt up to the high ground to try and take down nothing to say. See if they've got the damage for it. Curse ground will be avoided with the quick Yule's play. As if they can jump any further, wise back by the side of nothing to say. Juggernaut will have ulti ready in 25 seconds, so I'm sure we can get him one to take the fight right now. Have the attempt to jump. Ice Boss also coming in early. Does connect onto Arme. And they're going to try and head over into the pit. The oh, arena's down. The They'll catch out 11. The fear the terrorize. He catches Ori as well. Ori tried to jump in, but it was straight into the terrorize. As three heroes down. Excellent Willow play from Jin Q. This is the build. Like, this is uh, something that Jin Q has been theory crafting with. I know you, Owen. You're like, yeah, you know, it's not that good. It doesn't give any farming ability. There we go, shoot mid lane on 11. It's a quick and easy move. And we'll lose uh, Y in return. AA scouting things out with the Ice Vortex. They're not letting this one go. Shin Q kills the Healing Ward instantly with the Shadow Roll. And they're trying to set up on this. They jump onto PYW, they completely blow him up. They've got Terrorize coming down, now they're gonna hold on to it for now. Oh, we'll be there from him as he jumps off to the side. DY tries to turn with the Ice Blast, but Faith Bian comes in and cuts him down with the Axes. He just loves okay. the Octarine. And he also has the Shard. So like Curse Crown, even if it's dispelled, it's still got a prop. Oh, and look at this catch again, nothing to say. Dyer's bottom they have no reveal. 11. Oh, he wants to go, to go for it. And uh, he's gonna get it! That stun duration more than long enough to get the kill, and with a blink dagger, he's out into the trees, and he's away. Oh, I'll say that, Faith Beyond, he's gonna try and hunt for him. Is under attack. They need to be careful, he blinks in, has four illusions, could easily just blow up these masters. Well, see, Poyo is making the attempt to get in on this. See if he's gonna have enough damage, he pops the hit with the ice okay, block. Guys, oh, it's gonna come down, land straight onto Arme. The Omni says, but it bounces over towards Y. It doesn't stay on Arme. As Arme is more than five, but now he goes back in with the spirit. Take down DY. Zivo Lever Poyo have the damage to kill him. There's nothing to say, he's heading over to get the back of the Arme needs. Can they keep Arme alive? He's still living, finally falls, but they lose Poyo for it. BKB comes out for nothing to say, as he cleans up another with the DD. PYW oh also God. smashed a bit. <laughs> From the Juggernaut, yeah. just holding that IO in the place. They're just a little unfortunately, hey, if he stays he on it, jump on IO. Yeah, they're not quite having the connections, but would have made it a bit of a cleaner kill. Onto our mate. Once again, Ori getting caught. Eleven. He's looking for action. He's going to jump in aggressively on the Jin Q. Put over the boost of travel. Shadow Round buys a bit of safety for Jin Q. But as soon as he comes to an end, old Lemon brings him in, takes him down. Counterplay will be there. Nothing to say. I think on the detection. Uh, they do. I've got the backup. They'll lay it down. They won't be able to find old Eleven. See if they can get more out of this. Poyo heading in with the Blade Fury. Gets held back by the Primal Roar. Off in the eye. Poyo is still alive. Is he able to get the Omni Slash out? He's going to turn towards Y. The Slash is jumping over to kill him. Nothing to say. They brought down the Mars. She gave me. They still have the number advantage, but they're, they're respecting Arme. Arme's coming across. DY, he'll offer up his life. Heads back in to try and create some space for the rest of his team to get out. PYW won't be able to do so. 
At the start of the game, you know, I talked I, how I don't like the mid Mars. I'm slightly changing. Yeah, my you get, you get yeah. on it, this guy. Yeah, nothing to say has been really impressive. Chiyame trying to come up with the BKB. I will manage to catch a glimpse of old 11 over to the side. And they'll chase and take him down. No, why pushing back the rest of VG Gaming? Straight away. Okay. Especially with the Aegis. Nice. They're still a minute on the Aegis, so they should just keep dodging the fights until Aegis is gone. Try to poke, maybe go for someone else. And then, no real kid is gone, so you should make the move right now. Aren't they going to try and go for the Abaddon? And they can bring him down before the rest of the team turns up. He's still alive. Jinkyu will fall. They got the two kills out of that. Lord 11. He's trying to hide. Do they have detection? Yeah, they've got the gem. If Bian was able to reclaim that after the last fight. I'm just going to pop the ult. Almost got him. Very close. And then get a damage item before he's going to be any sort of threat to PSG LGD in these fights. Yeah, because you can't sell like Battle 3. You're not going to sell Scotty or anything. So I just feel this needs to be like Basher. Now they're going to get the jump on him. Abyssal Blade straight into the spear. He's over towards the wall. Ice Blast is coming over, but it, it's already going to be over for Poyo. -Yo -Yo. They already have like one Lincoln's on the buck, so maybe they need to like share it. I will heavily hinder his farm. He might have to do he, it though. He the needs game's to ending. do it. They're going to make the jump. Dream Coil down. BKB's out from Faith Beyond. They're going to get the slash right away. Onto the Iron. Can they burst down Army? He's getting low. They'll take it There out. it is. They bring down Army. Now they turn over towards the attention of nothing to say. And Poyo -Yo gets the double over towards Faith Beyond. 11 drags him in. On PSG LGD. Fortification. Coming to an end. How much can they get out of this? Item. Or he's hit. He's diving out of the two of them. They want to try and fight once. They don't have the full team up. They're going to be able to get Shin Q. A little time being bought, but with the Yules, Shadow Realm's up. Can he climb his way back in towards the fountain? He's caught outside of it. They're going to jump in and burst him. Azori commits for the kill. The Roy Sal into an illusion. They do catch the puck as puck will fall. Ori goes down. Not enough space for them to quite finish up the barracks, though. There's nothing to say. Leads in. They no. just bought back. Roshan is alive. A bit more control. CY oh. just straight up dies to relocate. All right. And uh, no buyback on him. That's just three heroes. Completely out of the game. Oh, hold on, no, he might just be doing it. He's looking for nothing to say. He's got the illusion down. It's not enough damage he has. Arme comes across with the tether. Nothing to say. Back up to full this speed. That's why I love 11. You know, <laughs> moves like this makes me just love the player even more. They call it. He's I mean, the one yeah, who's fighting done. GG well played in the old chat. Yeah, there's no more fight to be had. Four dead. On BG Gaming, PSG OG. They'll secure themselves the, the second victory here, taking the series 2-0. to zero.